You guys, I am so excited to share with you. My husband built me these beautiful window boxes. I have one here. There's one right around the corner. I'm going to show it to you. I couldn't be more thrilled about it. I have wanted window boxes here for a long time, and my dear sweet husband built these, and I'm so proud of them. Now, this is my kitchen window, and there's a table here, and we sit here, and we look out over the view all the time. So having flowers right here at the bottom of this window is going to be gorgeous. I'm so excited. Let me tell you about the flowers I'm going to put in, and I want to tell you about the soil that I'm going to put in, because this is going to be a little different than my normal thing that I do. Hi, I'm Sonia with Suburban Gardening, and I couldn't be more thrilled about these window boxes. Today we're going to be filling them. I'm going to tell you about the soil I'm going to put in, and I'm also going to tell you about the plants I'm going to put in. Now, let's start with the plants because we love plants so very much. Today what I have is I have some impatience and I have some begonias. And these are shade loving plants. Now right here in this area gets absolutely no sun until way into August. And even then the sun is very sparse. So this is definitely a shade planting area. Now there's also a few things that I have around my garden, like some cyclamen and some beautiful English ivy that I'm probably gonna pop down in here as well. Now, when it comes to the soil in this application, I want to be very careful about what I put in because I can't just dump this out and the soil needs to be something that I can keep replenishing and I can keep adding fertilizer to. So I went down to the nursery and I got myself two bags of potting soil. Make sure it's potting soil. Even the raised bed soil wouldn't be a great application for this. So potting soil is going to be absolutely what we need. And I know this potting soil has a lot of nutrients in it already. I'm going to add some continuous release, but I'm not going to add anything else. The other thing about these window boxes is that they are quite a commitment because there's no irrigation here and I will not be able to put irrigation here. So I'm going to have to make sure that I'm on top of this watering it all the time. Now, since this is my kitchen window and I'm looking out here all the time, I'll see if my plants aren't doing very well every morning when I look out the window. So I'm hoping that that will keep me up on watering them all the time. The other thing that we did on the window boxes was I had my husband line them with plastic. And the reason I did that was because I'm trying to create a moisture barrier. Now he did treat the wood and he painted it, but I also want to keep that constant moisture away from the wood if I can. And that way these window boxes will last for a very, very long time. For the first time putting dirt into these window boxes, I'm gonna to need to take my time and be very careful because I wanna make sure I keep that plastic up along the walls. So I'm gonna go ahead and just take my time and put the soil in just sort of slowly this time. But you can always tell really good potting soil if it's got plenty of perlite in it. And it smells like dirt, nothing else, not chemicals, just like dirt. So I'm really excited to have this in there. Now this is gonna drain really well too, but it's also gonna hold moisture. So those are exactly the two things that I'm looking for when I'm looking for good potting soil. I am going to be using some continuous release fertilizer in here. This is what I put in all my pots, especially my hanging pots. So this is kind of like a hanging pot, right? And it's really easy to use. As a matter of fact, I do recommend this. So it's proven winners. I'll leave a link below if you guys want to check it out. But it's these little balls and it comes with a little scoop. Now I'm going to just sprinkle it down in here. Let's see how many scoops I end up with. Probably three scoops. So what's going to happen is over time, as it starts to warm up and those roots really start to grow, this time release fertilizer will start to open as it's getting wet and it'll come out into the soil and feed the plants. So the next thing that's left to do is to put the plants in. This is always the most fun part. 
So we're going to be putting the plants down in here. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to set them up in here and see if I like where they're placed. This is really fun gardening. It's like standing up. what I did was that I put in five begonias, I put in six impatiens. Five is always a really good number, or I'm sorry, just an odd number, is a good number to put because for some reason it symmetrically looks very pleasing. Now I put the white begonias on the sides and the pink begonias in the middle, and then I took the pink impatiens and put them on the outside, and then I put the white impatiens in the middle. No particular reason why, I just think it's going to look really pretty. And if I don't like it, I'll just go ahead and move them around. I'll dig them out and move them around. There is one thing about this um, window box that is a concern. And I asked my husband to put some drain holes in the middle, and he did that for me. But now, when I water, there's going to be brown water dripping down onto my patio, and I'm not going to like that very much. So I need to find some kind of a vessel, whether it be a plant or just a pretty urn or something, to sit underneath here and catch the water so it doesn't mess up my patio. I really love putting begonias in shady areas. Now, that's what they like. If you put a begonia like this little tender thing out into the sunshine, it would really struggle. So we want to at least give it morning sun and then all afternoon shade, or it's going to do great right here. There's a lot of light that bounces around off the walls and off the patio, so I think it's going to do really well. The other thing I like about the begonia, it has very light color leaves. It's going to bring a lot of brightness into this space. And when we're looking out this window, out into the view, we're going to see these lovely, beautiful, tender leaves and these great little flowers. Begonias are usually annuals. In most places of the world, I believe they're an annual, but they really pack a lot of punch and they grow really quickly when the weather starts to get warmer. In my neck of the woods in zone 10, I pretty much have them all year round, so they could be even considered an evergreen because I don't have to do anything with them as long as my winters are mild. This winter, we only got into the 30s a couple of times, so my begonias that are out in the yard look absolutely beautiful right now. All I had to do was just trim them down a little bit. Now, the impatiens are also annuals. I can grow impatiens all year long here, but they don't look that great in the winter time. Now, I did have a few that made it, and I trimmed them back. I'm expecting them to come back, but if they don't, I completely understand. So these beautiful little bright color pink flowers, I think are just gonna be such a welcome sight when we turn the corner and we see how pretty they are. And there's a little bit of contrast between these tiny little leaves and the nice big begonia leaves. So I think it's gonna be a great little contrast. Did you guys see that big rainburst we just had? I got a bunch of big raindrops on my head just now. <laughs> well, you guys, I'm so excited to have these window boxes 
planted. I've been just dreaming of them for so long. And you know me, and I will be changing them out all the time. I'll be plucking new things in there, and they'll just grow over time, and we'll see what they look like. But I'd really like to encourage you, if you've got a shady area, go ahead and get a pot or something and put some begonias and impatience. They really do give you a lot of bang for your buck. They're absolutely beautiful, and I don't have to feed them as much as the rest of the garden. They're pretty easy to take care of as long as you keep that soil nice and moist. That's what they really like. So you guys, that's all I've got for today, but thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you next time. This is now what I see when I come out my door. These wonderful window boxes, they are just gonna grow and get so beautiful. And then right around the corner, we have another one. What a wonderful difference these made. These flowers are so gorgeous here.